All right, Google just announced that gems are now available in the side panel of Google Workspace apps, which means if you have access to the Gemini AI on tools like Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Drive, etc., you can now access your own gems that you just created on the Gemini AI. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access gems or custom AI directly from various Google tools like Google Docs, Google Drive, Gmail, etc. So here's how you can do it. First, you have to make sure that you are subscribed to either Google AI Pro or Google AI Ultra, or you can also get it for free if you are signing up to the Google Workspace Labs program. You can navigate to this URL and then you can create or join the program using your Gmail account and I will give you access to Gemini on various Google tools and it is completely free. In fact, this is the method I'm going to be using for the rest of the video. And after that, you can navigate to Gemini.ai, sorry, Gemini.google.com or you can use the Gemini AI app on your mobile phone. And then you can navigate to settings, go to apps, and then make sure that the Gemini AI is available or enabled for Google Workspace like Gmail, Calendar, Drive, etc. So it is very important to enable this setting, otherwise the side panel AI is not going to be available. And after that, you can navigate to Google Docs document or a spreadsheet in Google Sheets or Google Calendar, etc. And then you can refresh the page. And on the right side of the screen, there's going to be this Gemini icon. You can click it. And in order to access the gems, you will see the section that says gems. You can click it and you will see a list of gems that you just created on your Gemini AI. And also there are some pre-made gems or templates that Google just created. So uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how gems work, but basically gems are just some custom AI that you can create or AI with custom instructions. So the answer will be basically pre-made. It's going to be following the, the instructions that you just provided. So let's say I want to have a gems, uh, let's say writing editor. I'm going to click it. And let's say I want to know what are changes that I could make based on this document. So basically it does have access to the document and it can give you some details about what are the things that you can do based on the content of the document. But I want to try using a gem that I created. So here I do have a gem uh, about YouTube title ideas generator. I'm going to try that. So basically here, whatever I insert, it's going to give me a title idea. For example, here, uh, what is Tesla? I'm going to be using that as an example. And it will send uh, the message alongside with the custom instructions and it will give me just the title even though i didn't specify that it's it has to be a title but thanks to the custom instructions it now just answer based on that instruction and if you want to create your own gems you can click this create gem icon and it will bring you to the gemini website and you can start creating some gems directly from the website okay i guess i'm going to create one gem just to give you one example all right the page is just blank let me refresh the page again so gems are basically similar to custom GPT or uh, labs or sorry space in perplexity. It's really just a custom instruction. Let's say I'm going to create a gems about emoji generator. So I'm going to call it emoji generator. And then here is basically instructions that you need to, provi to, you need to provide to AI. In this case, I want AI to always respond with an emoji uh, no matter the request or message so it's just giving an em emoji based on the message that you received you can also click on this icon to improve the prompt if you are not so sure if your prompt is going to work then you can use that and there you go after that i'm going to click save or you can also just do some testing like uh, you can do some testing right here uh, subscribe to this channel hit enter and it will respond with some emojis let's see emoji generator it's still thinking okay let me say this and now if i go back to let's say google docs and i'm going to refresh the document uh there's going to be the gems right there uh, as you can see here emoji generator and there you go i'm going to let's say copy this and i'm going to paste it right here 
and it will respond back with just emoji which is the instructions that it just provided and there you go so that's basically how you can use gems on the gemini ai side panel on various google workspace tools like gmail google docs or google sheets and many others so that's basically it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video have a great day